what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we got a special one here you know it's been a minute since i've done some comedy and i've seen somebody recommend this one simon talbot on translating jokes from danish to english we finna rate his funny see how funny this is i think that's a in i think that's very interesting you know especially from danish to english so uh yeah russell howard i don't know who russell howard is or simon talbot so we even check this out, see what it's about. Y'all hit that subscribe button. On the stage, a fantastic comedian all the way from Denmark. It's Simon Tarbo! Hi there. Hi, yes, I'm Simon and I'm here from Denmark. Yeah. <laughs> Fleskesvær, rødkål, brun sovs og kartofler, skille med dinka, dinka, du. <laughs> Works better in Denmark. Yeah. So don't worry, tonight uh, it's going to be in English, and I'd like to start out by apologizing. I know I have kind of a weird accent. I sound like a leprechaun had a stroke. Not a stroke. And that's because I am Danish, but my father's Irish. So yeah, he drinks. He <laughs> like so that stroke might have been possible. Finish, but my father's Irish, so yeah, he drinks. <laughs> Actually, he called me recently and he went, Son, I fell off the roof because I was uh, drunk and I was trying to get some apples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no. Dad, you have to stop, it's gonna kill you. And he was like, Oh, you're right, you're right, I'm quitting fruit. <laughs> You know, I love him to bits. He tried his best despite the drinking. Oh my if my dad gosh. wrote a book on parenting, it would be called How to Raise Kids When You Feel Like It. <laughs> Boy, that and ain't, now I have this ain't weird the truth. Accent, and it's a real problem because no one believes me when I tell them I'm Danish. No one. Ever since I got here, everyone goes, No, you're not. <laughs> I think you're Irish. <laughs> and then I have to defend the fact that. I, ain't gonna, I, hear, the, I hear the Irish more. I can't say that. That's probably right. I can hear the Irish a little bit more. I think you're Irish. And then I have to defend the fact that I'm a Danish guy trapped in an Irish accent. <laughs> I'm trans-Danish, basically. <laughs> it's true, because I identify as an overly humble, rye bread-eating Danish person, but I sound like I'll fucking batter you. <laughs> but I'm a big believer in what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and that's why I plan on raising my kids with weird accents. <laughs> I see my teenage daughter come home from school. Dad, why does everyone think I am Russian? <laughs> I am not Russian. <laughs> it sounds very accent, Russian to me. I'm just so grateful to be here tonight because, you know, I love Denmark. Don't get me wrong, but it's a tiny country. You know, I was kind of tired of performing for my mother. <laughs> it's because she's a Jehovah's Witness. That doesn't help. <laughs> I was always like, hey, you know, when you had a birthday party? No. Okay, good night. <laughs> I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. That was my entire childhood. Uh, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, and I left when I started thinking. When I started thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it makes her happy, and that's all that matters to me. It's fine. There's just too many rules for me. Like you can't masturbate. So. <laughs> it's like I can't live like without I was that. Years old, going guess I'm out. <laughs> Punish teenagers for masturbating. That's like punishing fish for swimming. Just stay right there. Oh my God! Wow, that's, that's wild. <laughs> Way too many rules. Like no birthdays. I remember asking no my birth? mother when I was a kid, "How come I don't get a birthday party?" And she said, "Det er fordi Jesus aldrig holdt en fødselsdagsfest, og vi vil gerne være som Jesus." Which translates to, "Well, that's because Jesus never had a birthday party, and we want to be like Jesus." Hold up. I don't even think nobody had a birthday party back then. Shoot, we gotta celebrate Jesus that birthday. Had a birthday party. And we want to be like Jesus. <laughs> it's like, first of all, Christmas? <laughs> it's a little birthday. -y. And secondly, of course, not why, like, why would they waste seven chapters of the New Testament detailing Jesus' awesome birthday party? <laughs> And do they expect to see a preacher go, and Jesus blew upon the candles? <laughs> we shall sing him 73. Happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday. You're gonna die soon. Happy birthday, Jesus. Oh my God, it's wild. And if Jehovah's Witnesses can't do something just because... I honestly never understood or knew what a Jehovah's Witness was. Like, me personally, 
I never encountered one, but I always seen like the stereotype, and they just go up and knock on random people's door or something like that. That's that's what I knew. I mentioned like just because Jesus didn't do it, there's a lot of stuff they can't do. Like they'd be seriously constipated. <laughs> oh no! I've never read about Jesus taking a shit ever. <laughs> Like that I would explain why they're frantically knocking on doors. Hi, can I have a Look at you. I definitely can't stay like, constantly. It's so exciting for me, like transitioning from Danish to English, starting over. But right at the beginning, like, like when I started, it wasn't always that good. It felt kind of, you know, it's like I've, I've kind of learned how to play the piano and all of a sudden the keys are different. Because <laughs> when I tell a joke in Danish, I'm quite confident. I feel good. I'm like, yeah, din -in -in -in, din -in -in -in. and then I translate it, and it'd be like, beep, beep, beep. beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so this used to be funny. Oh, at some point. Uh, this is and this is one of those things you can't tell certain like no matter what the language, but you can't tell one joke to a certain type of people because everybody not gonna understand the joke. If I tell a joke to my my homie right now. He'll probably understand if I just tell it to some people just at a certain gathering, they might look at me crazy, you know, because they might not relate to it. And it's so painful working out new material because I'm, I'm very aware of the audience. I've always, I feel how pe I'm, I'm a very sensitive, overly empathetic guy. I can't even delete apps. <laughs> <laughs> I press them and I see them shaking. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, you can say it. I'll, I'll just... Like, no, no, you can stay. I'll just buy more gigs. It's okay. Yeah, and get more gigabytes. Yeah. Yeah, fan, I mean, it's great to terabytes. So it's so hard. Like, I'd stumble through some new material trying to translate, and I'd feel the audience uh, just try to. And that's why playing the piano and doing stand up isn't completely the same, because at least you don't feel physical discomfort watching someone who sucks at playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> when you're watching someone who's bad at playing the piano, you're like, oh, he's. He's trying to. He trying. He's learning. Good for him. <laughs> good for you. Sit, learn. It's good. He's trying. He'll get it in a couple years. You're watching a shitty stand-up comedian. You're like, oh, I hope he doesn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's still going. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> My God, it's just wow. a lot to explain all of this. It's a lot for you guys to like wrap your head around the whole Danish ex-Jehovah's Witness with an Irish accent. <laughs> it's weird, I know. I did a show and there was this American girl in the front row and she was just staring at me like I was a lava lamp, like, what's happening? I don't get it. I think, how was happening? I don't get it. <laughs> and then after the show, she came up to me and she was like as over excited and like enthusiastic as they come, totally American. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Simon Tava, Simon Tava, oh my God, so funny, oh my God. <gasps> Hilarious. Oh my god, Simon Tall. Oh, Simon Tall. <laughs> anyway, you said you were Danish, so I was thinking Danish stand up. What's that even like? What in the world? I was like, well, it's stand up, but I, in Danish? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't explain, and I wound up showing her videos of me performing in Danish. I was like, yeah, when I'm home in Denmark, I do like an hour and 20 minutes. So I was like, oh my god, that's awesome, amazing, an hour and 20 minutes in such a difficult language. <laughs> <laughs> like, does she think Danish? definitely had to be a Karen that's what that look that look that's a Karen look that's crazy like, does she think Danish people are sitting around Christmas Eve can we please speak English <laughs> <laughs> this other language is exhausting fliskets now roll call bones house like a toffler are we gonna dance now skill him a dang a dang a do skill him a dang a do see I knew you'd get it at some point <laughs> Like, I think she goes to the aquarium and looks at the fish. How do they do it? <laughs> <laughs> Moving around, breathing, in such a difficult environment. <laughs> oh, my God. But listen, you guys weren't difficult at all. Thank you so much for listening <laughs> to me. Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay, yeah, he had, he has some good he has some good punchlines though. That he has some good ones. He has some good. At least he's not like some people. Like you try to find out where the joke is. He had a couple of them. He had a couple. Of, I know y'all see me laughing a little bit. See me laughing. No, I mess with. It, I mess with. It. Definitely gonna have to check out more. Um, he might just be the first Danish comedian that I've seen. You know, I 
I seen some other ones, but one of them was Australian and the other one was maybe from the United Kingdom, I, I believe. I want to say, but no, this was good, funny. Appreciate the recommendation. Make sure y'all send some more. Hey, hit that subscribe button and y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.